get this full screened. Well, I, can't, I don't think I can full screen it yet. We'll begin shortly. All right, welcome back to Christmas time, guys. Most wonderful time of the day. We're doing Square Enix from Idas, Montreal. Babylon's Fall, Life is Strange, and Marvel's Avengers. Ooh. What do you mean? I'll call it Babylon's Fall. I've never even heard of that. I would assume it's a video game, Jish. <laughs> We cracked a couple cold ones for this one. It's five o'clock now, so. Almost quarter to five. They put British standard time there. Weird. I guess not really weird. People in the UK like video games too. They sure do. They're getting all the really cool uh, bonuses for Skyward Sword HD. What do you mean? Why aren't we? I don't know. That's some bullshit. It is bullshit. Nintendo seems to favor, like, uh, Europe when it comes to stuff like that. Like, they used to get really good uh, Metroid bonuses for like when Met when Samus Returns came out yeah yeah they got a really good collector's edition I heard Nintendo's entire E3 um leaked wow this one's louder than the last one much louder boom 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 yeah this should be good <laughs> Brexit? <laughs> what did you say Brexit for? Oh, we're talking about the UK, obviously. Jesus. <laughs> Brexit. <laughs> we don't need the European Union. <laughs> don't you judge me. The chat carried over. Interesting. Can I, can I adjust the volume for that here? Yep. Which one? That's that's the volume there. Big one. You lied to me. That doesn't change anything. It doesn't change anything for you? Not for me, no. Is that better? Uh, I think so, yeah. I don't know, man. It's pretty loud. Coming through I, think I, I think I can turn it down from here, then. Is that better? That's better, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Test, 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 test. That sounds good to me. There you go. Just cracked the cold one, he said. What, what? I can't crack a cold one with the boys? I do have sensitive ears, Dwayne. Thanks for, you know, letting the world know. <laughs> I have sensory issues. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. It's Matt Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So let's kick off with the world premiere of a brand new game from Eidos Montreal. Eidos. We hope you enjoy the show. I always pronounce it Eidos. I'm a fool. I am so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's Guardians. Oh my god, it is. Something that's a part of you. What? <laughs> okay. Fuck off, Instagram, Twitch. Gardeners <coughs> of the galaxy? What? No, Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. <laughs> Gardeners of the galaxy. So we got fined. We appear to be 6,963 units short. I know. We clearly need a plan. I need a hero. If you see anything with claws inside the tracks, let me know. We got this. 
Drax looks a little funny. It looks like the comic book version. Is this the new expansion for Marvels? I hope. I don't know. It does look like it, yeah. Yeah. We're all professionals here, right? Maybe we can work something out. You had one job, Quill. But, but no, man, Marvel's the Avengers is made by Crystal Dynamics. Yeah. So this this can't be that game. You are no killing teammates. That's who. It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitments. You know, I like it better that way. Mm -hmm. yeah, make it make it a different. It did, yeah. Pen, pen, nailed it too. We can do this. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Who's that me? Square Enix publishes it, but it's it's Crystal Dynamics. Crystal Dynamics does it, uh, does uh, Marvel's Avengers. This is Eidos. Eidos. Eidos, yeah, Eidos. Old habits die hard. Marvel's, Marvel's Guardians, Guardians of the, of the Galaxy. Galaxy. Their own game. October 2021. Holy shit. Bring it the fuck out. Okay, this is already doing better than Xbox. Go. <laughs> For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of they Marvel's the Guardians of the Galaxy. Thing down there. And reimagine yeah, it into back. a single player, story driven, third person action adventure game. It's our own fresh take on the Guardians, and something that's really unique to our game is that you get to be Peter Quill. I agree. How did they hide Lord, this? You're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. But today, I'm really, really excited to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from Tim our team be a demo. behind this project. <gasps> right, let's do this. Available today. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. I, I kind of hope it's just like a single player campaign. No, it's definitely going to be like a four player squad. I think. From yeah. Marvel's the opportunity that works so well for team, like, Marvel's Avengers. So that the reader would think, oh my gosh, how is this team going to survive? And that became the Guardians of the Galaxy comic, which we loved working on. Yeah, I'm actually surprised this game didn't get canned when like Marvel's Marvel Avengers didn't actually do Montreal. that well. Yeah. We were showing them the design of the characters. I'm surprised this game even exists. They stayed period. silent. I don't know if it's a minute, but in my head it was a minute. I was like, oh my god, like they hate it. We realized how much that Marvel. I guess this is what Marvel was talking about. Mm -hmm. in common. And that we knew the Guardians were in perfect hands. Looking at the samples that Bardos were kind enough to show me, I think he's fantastic and absolutely in the spirit of what these characters are. What makes the gameplay experience like unique design. to me yep. is no matter in what phase of the They're game, they're very comic accurate. An exploration or you're fighting, the guardians are constantly around you, and you never feel alone. While you're the leader, the guardians will also challenge you and make decisions on their own, and you will have to adapt to it. You are literally oh, part no, of it, the guardians. It, you're, of the galaxy. you're not squad based. The decisions you'll make will have lighthearted to hunting they're AI. repercussions, and the game will react to what you do and say. Come on, no killing team. Says who? It's literally in your contract. I made no such commitment. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the voice of Quill? It sounds familiar. And you're using your blasters and you're using your jet boots. Star Lord is really empowering. He's very agile on the battlefield. He can slide and over with his jet boots. Of course, Man, he has it looks his like you would easily put this into Marvel's Avengers. Well. Mm -hmm. And on top of all of this, he can use the. Like you swear this is made by Crystal Dynamics. <laughs> We're not pirates. We're legally Might be a recycled engine. Heroes for hire. Yeah. Yeah, Gardeners just, yeah. of the galaxy? What? No. The story is about a group of misfits, the Guardians. In our world, they've been together for less than a year. They create something I don't love on Gamora's a small scale that looks comic accurate. Yeah. And as they progress through the story, they discover that they created something really big that threatens it's the not galaxy. Not sexy enough. There are a lot. <laughs> wow. Of very Such a misogynist. I know, right? <laughs> and when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well known, but some that are also not all that well known. Yeah. 
Who's that? What Otto I don't know. Getting so right about them is capturing what it's like to be a misfit family. I actually, <laughs> I actually <laughs> like to see that, Pen. I feel like the movies are too focused on. Give us some comic accurate stuff. Interpreting it in its own way, I think, makes it feel incredibly fresh and exciting. Like that is that that straight out Drax and Gamora right from the comics. Oh, we're even getting Cosmo the space dog. Make the best version of Guardians out of that. They made it fun. They made it rock and roll. They delivered everything you would want. Yeah, this is definitely the Crystal Dynamics engine, though. Mm. They just gave it to another dev and like another studio, and they just like use that asset to build a new game. Oh yeah, sign me up, boys and girls. So it is single player. That's what it seemed like. Oh man, I'm here for it. Oh, they got oh, gameplay. Game play. Oh, holy <laughs> shit! Well, if it's coming out like this fall, I mean, what month did they say? O October, I think, wasn't it? Uh, I got too overwhelmed when I saw twenty twenty one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was October. October twelfth. Yeah, I'm automatically, you know, better off for this than I was all of Microsoft. <laughs> yeah. Short. We intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. What about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. Quarantine zone was always holding out on My us, figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble, and you can't be wrong. Is Gamora a cyborg? Like, is that a robot body? She's she's cybernetic en enhancements, yeah. Guys. Hmm. Yeah, so you're in charge of leading them. You're a group for once. That's Vin Diesel. I bet you. You think? Gotta be. <laughs> monsters and you are not a monster Groot, are you really offering to no no he is not offering that okay it could work so Groot I guess we could bust him out after absurd Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within the small ugly one is clearly the correct choice it's cruel sadistic and his soul is filthy and filled with rage I vote we saw Groot I honestly think Lady yes. Hellbender will go for it yeah well I vote for not I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? <laughs> <laughs> well, Rocket's definitely scarier on the inside. He's unstable. Oh, I'm so hyped. Totally yeah, this is good. <clears throat> okay, we, uh, we get it. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. We're not serious. It seems like they got the music sprinkled in, too. Yeah. are tied to the temperament. That's not how women work. Or weather. We're flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. You guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. Same. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> I love that jacket. You can take your opinion and shove it up your ass, Rubber Ducky. I'm sorry. There Not sorry. <laughs> Elden Ring was pretty sick, though. It does look pretty sick. I agree. <laughs> that was my number one before I saw this. But I'm sorry. My Mar my Marvel boner is like this right now, okay? Right? <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> it's definitely the same engine that's in Avengers, though. It looks very similar. That's the reason why this is a big, such a quick turnaround on it. I think because the engine was already done. Yeah. And at that point, they can. They can reuse the assets if they want to bring the Guardians into the Avengers yeah, game. Yeah, for sure. Like, amalgamate the two games and, like, geez, like, yeah, very much Avengers. George Michael and I killed the ring way too complicated. That's a reasonable concern, Penn. I think there's going to be a demo. That'd be great. That's, that's gonna be the thing. Like, there's a demo available okay. right now. If there's a demo, I'm streaming that shit before Conquer tomorrow. <laughs> should have gone to Mach 4. It's a blob. 
It would be wary road. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Ah! It's not alone. Get ready. What are these things? They are amorphous vermin. Shoot first, questions later. Drop them, Kamora. This won't hurt. Oh, there's like a ability wheel for all your support characters. Okay, so you get that you can tell them what to do. Yeah, it's like they're doing like a like a Final Fantasy VII remake kind of deal here. Oh yeah, I forgot they did that too. Yeah. Now they have this famous writer, so you know they're gonna shove. It. That's true, Pen. That's true. This is like ultimate. This looks way better than Ultimate Alliance. I'm sorry, Deco. Ultimate Alliance was good, but this looks way cooler. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Twat. I am a twat. I agree. Oh, this looks so cool. True. Oh, no doubt Elden Ring's gonna be cool. No doubt. Yeah. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, Scott again. Hear that? Uh, guys. I got it. Not gonna lie. Really? Okay, good. I'm glad they introduced something better because that enemy is lame as hell. <laughs> <clears throat> huh. Icy Tails. Look, they hug. Oh, how sweet. I was gonna say, that looks kind of sexual. Yeah, they're definitely mates. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah. Is that fantastic? Like, it's like a combo meter or something going on there. Oh, it does look like it's a combo meter. Like, like Devil May Cry kind of, like a stylish meter or something. Maybe you use more powerful abilities or something? Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's totally... You can unfreeze your friend, that's cool. So can you only control Star-Lord? That's what it looks like, yep. Yeah. You're the leader. It'd be better if you could switch between them, though. But they might, that might be the way the game ends up being, <laughs> but for right now, it's like we're only showing Star-Lord. Her butt isn't easy enough to see. You're disgusting, Marvel fans. Whose butt? <laughs> Gamora's. He says he doesn't like Gamora's armor. That is definitely my if you're telling me classic rock songs go off when Star-Lord uses his ultimate ability, Aren't you forgetting something? best game in history. Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flark thing was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket, time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. <laughs> Maybe Gamora's right. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. I just think this is an affront to democracy. <laughs> uh, that's a word I don't use enough. Yeah, affront. We noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, if I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? I really hope they got the licensing to this music. Oh, come on. I'm gonna be disappointed if this music's <laughs> not in the game. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing like me, only uh, bigger. 
Someone else wants to pull this thing. We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. We got this! Rocky, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is ultimate. <laughs> the Definitely, like, what a way to open the show. Guardians of the Galaxy. I can't believe you don't know who that villain is. Do I have to kill you? The audacity that you thought you could rob me dweller feast upon them yeah i've never read guardians comic books you've got this probably pre-order now october 26th throwback outfits Classic costumes, yeah. Mm. Oh, the Steelbook edition. Available on PS4? Not surprising. Now but. we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. The Cree are blue. First up, Deco. Relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. And then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead wasn't she of its blue? June 24th launch. She's green. Her face wasn't blue. No. She's green with black, like like circles around her eyes. Whew, now I gotta use the rest of this conference to come down. Did she look blue? blue? Maybe, maybe I'm high. You test kill ass or bring her here. Actually, I'll go get it. I'll be sure? back. I'll be back. Anime the game. I'll write that down. Weeb garbage. Don't deny it, Ducky. You know you love it. Anime <laughs> Legend of Mana. Legend of Mana. Mana. June. Up next. Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend the world in Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics Thanks. is excited to share the latest updates with you, including What's new mission on? types and a growing roster of Avengers. Heroes. We just saw anime the game. Anime the game? Yeah. The Cosmic Cube! Secure that super weapon at all costs. Nope. I'm predicting Spider-Man reveal. For like a one more thing? No, just like something for Avengers. I think Avengers is going to be a big component. It's a good game pen. What, Avengers? Yes. Just buggy as hell though, man. Not really anymore. It was at launch, for sure. Its biggest weakness is it's repeat repetitive. Yeah, there's not enough variety with the, with the War Table missions. And enemies. There's a synthoid after synthoid after synthoid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a synthoid variant. You don't understand what that cube is capable of. Shut up, Rubber Ducky. You never even played it. <laughs> They've had like four expansions since we last played. Yeah. Ah, major updates. I wouldn't call them expansions. Still just synthoids. 
A fucking Taskmaster again? You kidding me? Jeez. Like, introduce a new boss for crying out yeah. loud. They need new enemies and new bosses. I'm sick of fighting Taskmaster and Abomination over and over again. Yeah. Sure. I applaud your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. How do you feel with the Black Panther armor? It's nice. It looks kind of... No, okay. I'm digging it. Looks looks different than it was when he was revealed. When he was first revealed, like the armor was like kind of like bulky, like kind of boxy, almost like Captain America. Yeah. So this looks a lot better. They got the whole like vibranium, like energy absorbing capability. Oh, are we, get, are we getting claw? That's who that is, claw. I think so. New enemies. Yep. More robots. Sorry. It would have done better as a single player. Okay, so we're getting full comic book claw too. <clears throat> This was uh, what's his face character, um, Gollum. What's his face? What's his name? Uh, Andy Circus. Circus. Yeah, now I was thinking, I was thinking like Sedacus, but no, it's not right. <laughs> yeah, Circus. Yeah. Got his motion cap. Our intelligence reports a new threat. Hitman. Stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected because of your remarkable skills. Execution must be perfect. He's fucked. Yep. <laughs> from the shadows. And they will never know what hit them. 2021. Oh, June 13th, okay. Was it a mobile game? A Wait, June 13th? That's you today. <laughs> Oh, they are. This is mobile games. <laughs> reincarnation. So that's a mobile Hitman game. Okay. Near mobile. Crystal Chronicles. War of the Visions. Limited collaboration. Car based? I don't know, Pen. I never played any of the Hitman games. Yeah, same. Oh, Final Fantasy 7. Maybe? What the fuck is this? Is it more mobile games? I saw Shinra. Yeah, I saw Shinra as well. From Seven, the first soldier. The first soldier. For iOS and Android, yeah. Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive look. What I'm learning is that there's a lot of games I've played that you guys haven't. Featuring fluid combat, <laughs> powerful weapons, and I mean, a unique art style. I've dipped, I've dabbled with Hitman. I've never played a full game though. <clears throat> Platinum Games should. Make something cool. Built over a thousand years, it was something meant action to be a tower of dreams. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Fucking nerd. I don't give a rat's ass about mobile games. I won't be playing any of those. <laughs> fire and if they're good, I'll play them. And the coldest of winds. 
Eventually, the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. That tower's name is Babylon. Does the savior of Neo Babylon stand Fuck this it? guy's voice. Let's yeah, I was just thinking the exact same thing. <laughs> he sounds like he's a squire or something. <laughs> this looks like Godfall. It was Platinum, they're the same guys that made a uh, uh, Astral Chain and what else is our thing? I can't remember. If I'm to die, then I'll die for Oh, Bayonetta. Ah, yes. So that's why I knew it was going to be like an action kind of... I'm pretty sure most of the stuff they've announced Silent Wolf have been cross-platform. I don't know how this got into the event, to be honest. Why? I mean, this could be only on Switch. Really? There's a chance this could only be on Switch. La, la, la. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. Not I mean, it looks like a square game. Ascend to the heaven. Above the tower of yeah. Thor. Definitely looks look very like generic. I think you guys are being too harsh. Now begins its tale well, I'm partial to action games, so and I love action games. PS4 and Steam. PS5, whoa. Ooh, it's a PlayStation. Suck it, Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a bad Square game, though, so bottom trash. Uh, doesn't, look, doesn't look bad. Does Square do near? Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. That game has like a like the best game you'll never play kind of reputation. And I'm guilty because I never played it. <laughs> what near? Yeah. Yeah, I've never touched it either. The Waifu Bot Simulator. Oh, they're, they're just talking about the other games still. So it looks like they might have taken... Did Platinum do near? Google it. Pen says near is a great game. Oh yeah, no, they, yeah, they did do, uh... You can game over by uninstalling your OS? Yeah, they did, uh, Bayonetta, Astral Chain, Bayonetta 2. Did they do Nier? Oh, Metal Gear Rising, that was another one they did. They did do Nier, yeah. Nier Automata. 10 out of 10 JRPG? Is it turn-based? ARPG. <laughs> You can explode her on purpose and play with her asset. It's great. Doesn't sound Twitch friendly. Grow up. I didn't say Nathan friendly. I said Twitch friendly. No, but like just hot tub streamers. Come on. That's true. I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about setting. <laughs> I'm thinking about setting something up. By the way. But you going on hot tub? Something like that. <laughs> Maybe not a physical hot tub, but... <laughs> Now let's check out the next major entry the popular Life is Strange. Get like a green screen set up or something. The team at I can make it work. To give you a deeper look at Alex Chen's psychic power of empathy. I see what kind of First, content Pen likes. Here's a look at the Life is Strange remastered Wait, collection. Wait, psychic power of empathy. It feels so weird to be back. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. All games are what I like generally. If, if I could have a psychic power, it would not be that. <laughs> I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! This is strong for a Rattler, isn't it? 4.7, no. No? Oh, for a Rattler. Uh, yeah, probably. Come on, let's dance! Or take my picture with 
new camera. <laughs> Hot tub stream with Pokemon back. <laughs> oh, Pokemon pack opening. Jeez, I'll get famous in one stream. Depends on what you pull. Oh, good. You're here. Rachel saved my life. She was my angel. Something happened to her. Yeah, buddy. We have to find her, Max. <laughs> Holy shit. Max, what's going on? So what you gotta do is, like, open up a pack of cards and just, like, dunk the whole thing. Yeah. Time. And then, like, open up and then, if you pull a really good card, that sucks. What the <laughs> hell is this? But that's the risk you take. Is this fucking Michael Bolton singing right now? Whatever's going no. on between us is special. Step back before you regret it. Dan, Max! Then I that's another game I haven't played. And the power to what one? Life is Strange? Yeah. I've heard nothing but good things about it, but... On the edge of disaster. Time to change time. That'll be a good Extra Life game. Whatever happens, I'll always have your back. Always. Isn't that more of like a interactive... Uh, like almost a, like, like heavy, a walking like, simulator. Like heavy rain kind of yeah. deal. Like, yeah. Uh, Hi, I'm Maya. Like Beyond Two Souls. Lesbian porn prequel? I'm a musician what? and God. the singing voice yes. of Alex Chan. I gotta finish Detroit 2. I never finished that game. True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, I know I did. Oh you can God. See <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Remastering both Life is Strange and Before the Storm. This collection features improved character animation, lip sync. I and played it. I never finished it. Breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed <laughs> the next major game in the series. Life is Strange. I'm a procrastinator. A small town supernatural mystery. Alex Chen and get distracted easily. the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. I'm bored. Alex's psychic power yep. of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the Ducky. strong feelings of others. <laughs> the yeah. fear, sadness, and anger of those around her, leading her to believe her power is a curse. So I guess we're not getting uh, the Spider-Man reveal. Alex for... realizes we might. The only way no, they already did Avengers. They probably won't circle back to it. Oh yeah, that's right. <clears throat> I can't believe this is happening. The only good thing they already showed the roadmap, which was like literally nothing new. It's all stuff we already knew. Yeah. Up, up to the Wakanda expansion. From the very start, but that was already announced. You can use Alex's so I don't know why they bothered to, to reiterate that. Well, they showed like the gameplay, like, into and the emotions. revised Black Panther uh, Just look. These valuable so. insights deepen Alex's relationships with the folk of Haven Springs, as well as sparking new dialogue options and events. As here, from a scene very early on in the game. You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. Can an empath Alex read people's minds? I thought an empath read people's feelings. Long -term girlfriend. Yeah, it's like more like an aura thing. And now thing. he's terrified that Alex will reveal it before he can talk to Riley. Like reading She's energy, reading aura. <laughs> this is a Netflix original, not a game. <laughs> <laughs> I would call it Max bullshit. bullshit. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. So are we still together? Are you serious? I need call to call it Max to bullshit. Work. Sure, Alex. will uh, every time. We'll get out of your way. Fuck you, Mac. It's a stupid name. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can actually reach out to actively connect with that person. McDonald, what is it? This <laughs> McDonald? Nova. A supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. But not every emotional crisis can be easily dealt with. Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. Agreed, Pen. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. Yeah. This anger could kill her. What if I could just 
Take it away. Well, I get to feel other people's feelings. Using Alex's power is the only way you can endeavor the truth behind her brother's death. What would that do like, to her? Isn't empathy more of like a what would it do to instinctual me? thing that most and people have to can? at least some degree? Well, it's, it's, it's like, like sympathy. I, I, like, I would call this telepathy, not How far empathy. Will you go in pursuit of you know? that truth. Yeah, the tele she's, she's the reading people's minds. That's yeah. telepathy. Is yours. Like I don't know what she's doing anyway. Stupid. Alex's yeah, because powers look so awesome. The chick from Guardians no with the antennas. Make some of these Mantis. Mantis. She's an empath. But I can't wait to play yeah, with you. Yeah, but she also like reads people's minds. Feelings. Yeah. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. Yeah, this and is it. Yeah. And if you choose the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered Collection. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels for more. So the main premise of your game is in error. <laughs> You're saying she's an empath <laughs> when she's actually a telepath. <laughs> you fucked up, like, Square. You like, fucked up. Like, that is the premise of the game. <laughs> so... At a fundamental, foundational level, you, you made a critical mistake. So now, this, is, this is how you do... And now, okay, this, this is how you do a conference. A Every single one of these things is 2021. Mm -hmm. The struggle brewed deep in their hearts. It's Japanese, so let's see how it goes. Tatsuya Nomura. He's important, isn't he? That's my mission. Oh, I've seen this game before. Team Ninja. Uh, mm. What is it? Looks like chaos has been waiting for us. Are you, gonna make us go Are you sure? They said this was a world premiere. Guess we'll just show ourselves. That door here. looked really familiar. I only know one thing. Is that Dante? I want to kill chaos. That's definitely Need not Dante. To. It's not a hope. Dream. He just crystallizes his ass. This isn't Capcom. <laughs> it's not going to be Dante. Twas a joke. Thinking <laughs> of these, seeing the feelings and what's causing them, she can't tell. Man, he kind of reminds me. You wouldn't know, but there's yeah, this character in one of the Fire Emblem games so named uh, Owain. <laughs> this guy reminds me of Owain. That, so, like he's so extra. <laughs> that was a God of War stamp. Oh yeah, this is very God of War style. Eliminations anyway. Darkness is so thick, I can taste it. This is it. No, it's like every action game ever, but I'm here for it because I love action. Come on. Ripping the jaw like that? Well, oh, yeah, it's like when, yeah, cool. yeah. No, Owain is cooler. Alright, Deco has a point. Chaos. I was just looking for a reason to rip them. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this guy reminds me so much of Owain from Fire Emblem. And who are you? That's what I said, Pen. Oh yeah, it's definitely like yeah. Warriors of Light. Warriors of Light. Man, that is so. A little bit of Kingdom Hearts sprinkled in there. With a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garland. No. No more Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem can fuck off. No, it's Final Fantasy, dude. <coughs> Rubber Ducky said he wants a new Fire Emblem oh, game. Oh, I thought you were talking about Dwayne. Dwayne said, or uh, Deco said. Final, this is a Final Fantasy game. Yeah. Imagine that. 2022. 2022. So we're into the 2022s now. It's like a spin-off one, though. Demo available soon on PS5. What was it called? I'll leave you with a look at some <laughs> of the amazing Square Enix titles you can play now. Shadow or something? I don't know. I gotta play the remake. Intergrade. Just hit me with it. Drop plate number seven. That's already out though. What? That's what they just said. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, we're doing a montage now. Yeah. So, are we over? Oh yeah, I remember seeing this last year. Yeah, that's the Project Athia game. Which personally, I like I like the name Project Athia more than... Forspoken. Sure no, no, of course I will. I'll call you, I'll call you. 
Thank you for joining us today. Keep an eye out for okay, news short but sweet. Short but sweet. It's a bit of a high start time. and woo. Yeah. <laughs> for me anyway. Yeah, that's a bit of a bias there too. Yeah, 100%. <clears throat> Is it over? Yeah, I think they are really milking Integrate as well. Like they're really forcing that down our throats. A hundred percent, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, they do have a lot of money invested into it. Yeah, people are gonna buy it anyway. It's Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's, it's Final Fantasy VII. Like, so, like, people are gonna buy that anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, but you knew they were going to milk it, dude. Especially once they announced it was going to be episodic. Yeah. And I think it gives them opportunity to do, like, more expansion of it a little bit. I don't know what they're doing with it. I haven't played the first one, so. Yeah, me neither. I wanted to play the original before jumping into the before jumping into the remake, but... I don't think that's going to happen for me. I don't know me. if that's going to happen now, because mm -hmm. I just keep dragging my feet with that. I refuse to play it once I saw it wasn't the whole game. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? Capitalism. Like, like, like in ten years' time, when like all the games are out, they're gonna do like a, a bundle, a bundle like they did with Kingdom Hearts, yeah, the complete edition. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many times did they re-release the Kingdom Hearts saga? I bought it twice. <laughs> so yeah, like, that's what I mean. Like, in technically ten, three times. Like in ten years' time, when all three parts are out, plus like these little, like, half chapter installments, like yeah, integrate. They're just gonna release it all on one disc for like, eighty bucks. Yeah. So we got Guardians of the Galaxy, October 26, 2021. That's definitely game of the show for me. Yeah, me too. That took me... I can't believe they hid that. Yeah, that's that didn't leak. I mean, that's that's wild. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it's, and it's almost out. That yeah. comes out in like three months. Fall. Yeah. And then anime the game, uh, June 24th. That's uh, Legend of Mana. <laughs> now, when, you, when you said anime... This is, okay. <laughs> so it's not actually called anime no, the game. No, I just, I just wrote that. All right. Uh, Black Panther. That was when I was gone up getting a beer, so I didn't see that one, actually. And then we go to mobile games, which is Hitman, Nier, that Final Fantasy 1, and Final Fantasy 7, First Soldier. Then they went to Babylon's Fall, Life is Strange, and the montage. So short and sweet, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was better than Microsoft. In my yeah, opinion. in my opinion, even though Microsoft brought the games, they didn't have any big bangers. They didn't have anything to blow your mind. Like that, right now, as of, as of E3, that Guardians thing... Is yeah. top tier for me. I didn't see watch, what Nintendo uh, does tomorrow, but since we're not doing any like thing for tomorrow, uh, we can do like Nintendo predictions. Yeah, we can do Ninten know. Nintendo predictions. What do you guys think we're gonna do for Nintendo? I'm thinking. Well, this is. Uh, I think this one's pretty obvious, but like Breath of the Wild two launching in late fall, early winter, 2021, alongside the Nintendo Switch Pro. Oh, you, oh you're you got high hopes. <laughs> <laughs> Plus a Switch Pro. No, it's gonna launch like because part at the of, same time. Yeah, because uh, you like, think it needs a Switch to be able yeah, to do it. Well, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Yeah, that's coming out in January 2022, and yeah. they've already went on record of saying that game will play significantly better on the Switch Pro. So that leads me to believe that Switch Pro will be out by that time. But they haven't confirmed the Switch Pro yet. No, they haven't. They're gonna do that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. <laughs> They're gonna do that tomorrow. So Pokemon Arceus. Well, Pokemon Arceus is coming out January 2022. Uh, no, I so, thought they were tomorrow. Uh, is it tomorrow? Or it, it, well, whenever it is, if it's tomorrow or Tuesday. Yeah. They're gonna they're gonna announce the Switch Pro, and it's gonna launch alongside Breath of the Wild 2. Okay. Nintendo E3 2021. Yeah, Skyward Sword is coming out in July, so I think it wouldn't be too abstract to think that they would release another Zelda title around the holidays like early November-ish I think is looking reasonable 43 hours 43 so two hours days. Left. okay so it is Tuesday it is Tuesday yeah. alright me I'm not sure like I that, that's my prediction I don't know how obvious I, I don't I, think we're getting Breath of the Wild till 2022 no, I think that's going to be a 2021 game. Mm, if we get like it... We're, we're, four, it, we're four years out from the first one. If we get it close to 2021, it's going to be holiday of 2022. I think. Like, Breath of the Wild 1 launched in March 2017. So I think, like... Yeah. Like, we're at that time where, like, they could put it out. 
I don't know if I'm talking to my ass, but I'm pretty sure they came out and said that a, a Switch Pro will not be at E3. Yeah, they're only going to do software. Yeah, okay, all right, well... So take, I don't know. Take that one with a grain of salt. I think yeah, we're, okay. we're definitely going to see more Breath of the Wild too, but I don't think we're going to get a no, date I, this year. But I think whatever Breath of... Okay, I'm going to go on record and predict that they're going to give a release date for Breath of the Wild 2. Okay. It's going to be late 2021. Just late 2021. And at some point later on, when they do decide to give like a software or a hardware update, the Switch Pro is going to launch the same day. I can see it. Because well, what's going to move a console? Zelda. So, like, they're going to want to time that so that those Mario two things... moves consoles. Yeah, we get, yeah, Mario, yes. And, like, you know, we could get a new Mario game. We could get Odyssey 2. I don't know. Like, that's right around the time where that could be in the realm of possibility. True. But, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I, th- I agree with uh, Rubber Ducky. Like, I think Smash, we're going to get to. I think we're going to get a dual character reveal. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I'm, pr- I'm predicting one is going to be Rillaboom. Rillaboom? What the fuck is that? Rillaboom is... that is, a Pokemon? Yeah, he's a Pokemon, yeah. Okay. And it makes sense because we already have Greninja and Incineroar. So that's a water starter from Gen 6, a fire starter from Gen 7. Rillaboom is the grass starter from Gen 8. So that would give you, like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think that's... A re- like Rillaboom, I think they could <laughs> work that in. Waluigi, my, I'm putting my money in Waluigi. <clears throat> Waluigi's not going to happen, I'm sorry. Waluigi's already an assist trophy, he's not going to be a fighter. I think Breath of the Wild is holiday 2022. Waluigi's been an assist trophy for a long time, so he's... Yeah. Un- it's unfortunate, yes, I would love to see Waluigi as a playable character, as a mm-hmm. fighter, but he's. I don't think that's ever going to happen. But I think we're going to get a dual release. I think they're going to come on tomorrow, and they're going to say, uh, Rillaboom is coming out like in the next week or so. And then they're going to announce the second character, which is going to be like three months out. Like two to three months out. New character. And they're going to announce them? Yeah, they're going to do a dual announcement, yeah. Because they're they're set for like a new character to come out. I think... Ducky kind of got me precursor there. I think we're going to see either Metroid, like the new Metroid game. Yeah, Metroid Prime 4. Or we're going to get a collection. Well, I think they got to do both. I think they got to, like, I think just to peaceify like the Metroid fans, like they're going to do the... Like, from the rumors I've been hearing, Metroid Prime Collection for Switch is done. Yeah. Like, they just got to release it. They could easily come out tomorrow and say, this game is launching on the Switch Online store today. Yeah, that makes sense. But they, they could do that. I think that game has been done for a long time. They're just... It, it's kind of like the way Scarborough Sword HD is something they can put out, like, while you're waiting for Breath of the Wild 2, here's, something, here's a Zelda yeah. game you can play. Yeah. So I feel like... Because Metroid Prime 4 is going to be like, I'd say like spread 2023. Like Metroid Prime 4 is like way, because they rebooted what? that whole game, right? What's SSB? Super Smash Bros. Gotcha. It, it who's, was, who's Zagreus? Zagreus. Hey, who the fuck is that? Is that buddy from uh, Hades? I'm hoping the Smash character isn't a Nintendo one besides Waluigi. Hades. Yeah, Hades, okay. yeah. It's, uh, yeah, so that's that's possible. But Give me Sora. Give me Sora as a Smash character. I'm still holding out hope. I think Rillaboom is a is a good prediction. I would love to see. <clears throat> I, my my yeah. thought process. But, but, but there's, there's only there's only two left. Right? There's only two Smash Bros. characters. There's two left on the Fighter Pass, the second Fighter Pass. And I think they're both going to be announced at E3, and then because there's no plans to do a third Fighter Pass. Okay. So whatever whatever is out is out. Okay. So. I'll, I'll, I'll go with that one, Rubber Ducky. I think we'll get the name, and we'll get a nice trailer of Breath of the Wild, but we're not getting... I don't think we're going to get a release date. No, I, th- I think... But if we do, it's going to be holiday, I think. Of 2022. Holiday 2022. Mm-hmm. No. Holiday 2021. Yeah, so the the early 2022 is what I'm thinking. Like, January. Okay, no, Breath... They wouldn't do that, because Arceus, or Arceus is coming out in tw- January 2022. That's been confirmed already. Okay, well, if that's the fact, holiday 2022. And apparently, it's supposed to run like ass on the normal Switch. <laughs> I, I, so, they got to do something for those games. I, I agree. The, the the Switch needs an upgrade. It does. It does. So, I, that's, I, I just... I really think that Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be a 2021 game. Like, I, I, hope. I, I, I do. <laughs> I, I think it's going to be a late 2021. Could it be some of the champions from Breath of the Wild? 
They could, they do, could do that. They could do a Breath of the Wild champion. Uh, probably, would they go with another heavy character? I wouldn't want to see Urbosa, because I don't want to see another sword-based character. There's already too many. Mm-hmm. So Who's the bird guy? Uh, Rivali. Yeah, I like him. Revol- either, that, either that or the uh, Zora guy. All I, wa- I don't want to see an Echo. Like, if you give me an Echo character as a paid DLC yeah, character, bullshit. like, fuck you. Like, no, that's not going to fly. So, it can't be an Echo. So, so like, I was thinking, the echo, like, so Re- so Revali could probably be an Echo of, like, Falco or somebody, right? Yeah. So, so for te- predictions, we got, <clears throat> you think, uh, late 2021 Breath of the Wild, right? Yeah, and it's going to launch alongside the Switch Pro, which isn't going to be announced tomorrow, I guess, but it, mm-hmm. eventually it will. That's going to be, like, a... You know, they're going to launch at the same time. Yeah. And you said uh, Rilla Boom and a new character. I'm going to say Sora <laughs> and some Fire Emblem bullshit. No, they, they've exhausted Fire Emblem at this point. They already, I, I don't believe like, them. No, they already have Byleth. So, like, they're not going to... Like, that's the character from the most recent... Make my Fire words. Game. They'll do another Fire Emblem <laughs> character. <laughs> just, yeah, two, just to piss me off. Two more Fire Emblem <laughs> characters. <laughs> No, they've, they've already done Byleth. They're not going to do another one. Like, there's already so much of representation for that game in, in Smash Bros. They're not going to do any more. Um, like 10% of the roster is Fire Emblem characters. <laughs> and my pie in the sky is... We're getting more Zelda HD remakes. Like a collection? Yeah. Of like... I want, I want Majora's Mask, Ocarina of Time, and the other one. The Twilight Princess? Nope. Earlier. GameCube. Uh, Wind Waker. Wind Waker. Wind Waker's already out. And... But there, it's going to be a collection. That's my that's my pie in the sky one. Yeah, they're not, I guess not the most overrepresented, but like... They've got enough. I mean, like, there's not very many more characters they can introduce from Fire Emblem. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think Rillaboom, like, like there's an endless supply of Pokemon that they can do. Yeah. And I just think, given that we already have Greninja and Incineroar, I think, like, Rillaboom could balance Rolling out that, in. like, you could fit them in, like, you need a Grass-type starter. Yep. So I think, like, yeah, like, the Water-type starter from Gen 6, the, gr- the Fire-type starter from Gen 7, Grass-type starter from Gen 8, then you call it done Fucking with- Fucking Mint. Call it done with Pokemon after that. Well, what's your pie-in-the-sky Gatorade hype moment? For Nintendo, I don't really have one, to be honest. I mean... Ooh, that would be a nice pie in the sky, too. A good Star Fox game. I'd l- I would like to see, him, uh, like, a new Donkey Kong Returns. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Another Donkey Kong. I would love to see that, but that's the thing. Retro is working on Metroid Prime 4. So unless another studio does Donkey Kong Country Returns, like, I don't, that's not going to happen, right? Yeah. Because that's what happened. They, they, hit the re- they hit the reboot button on Metroid Prime 4 and gave it to Retro. Okay. So, like, that's why I don't think there's going to be much in the way of Metroid Prime 4 at E3. Like, I would like to, like, to see at least a, like, a theatrical trailer. But... What about the Grass Owl, since it's the Arceus starter? Oh, Decidueye. Maybe. Well, Decidueye, uh, wait. Is it Decidueye? From, You're asking the, the wrong who, guy. Who's the Grass type starter in, in Arceus? Yeah, my... Is, is it Rowlet? But, but I think, like, yeah, Decidueye could work. Yeah, so, yeah, if it's Rowlet, then, yeah, it would be Decidueye, would be the the character, that, the, the fighter that they put in Smash. That could work. But they could easily do the same thing for Rivali. Like, You're outside of my wheelhouse no, like, here. Rivali, that champion from from uh, Breath of the Wild. Okay, okay. It's like, him and Decidueye are, like, yeah. very similar. They're yeah, both, okay. like, bird-based archers. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and but, like, but Incineroar comes from Gen 7. Decidueye comes from Gen 7. So I feel like they would want to have some kind of representation from Sword and Shield. Yeah. If they're going to if they're gonna go back into a Pokemon, I, I think like that's the most likely option. Pretty sure it's Rowlet, Cyndaquil, Oshawott? Yeah, it is. Rowlet, Cyndaquil. So yeah. The Grass-type starter from Arceus would be... Those are the starters in Arceus? Yes. Decidueye. Okay. Would be, like, because that's the final form of Rowlet. Interesting. I so. like Cyndaquil. I'll be picking him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of uh, Oshawott, to be honest. I, I'm, yeah, not, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of Samurott. Does this evolve the, the, the final evolution of Oshawott? I'm not a big fan of him. Like he looks cool. 
It's like a sea lion with a samurai sword. Like, come on. <laughs> but uh, the like, are OP. Interesting. Well, we'll find it on Tuesday, I guess. Just won't be with me on Tuesday. Uh, I'll probably be doing it by myself. I can come over Tuesday. But aren't you working? Oh, yeah, somebody during work. So yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah it's, it's early. It's early. Yeah. All right, no, I won't be here. If it's post-work, I'll definitely get you over here. But No, I think that's going to be like a afternoon type thing. The original IP series for Nintendo has been dormant longest. Is Metroid. I really... That, that has I, been dormant for way yeah, too long. Like I, The last one was in... 25th? No. When did Samus Returns come out on 3DS? Well, if you want to count like Federation Force, but like, fuck that game. does bullshit. <laughs> uh, I think we're going to get a HD collection of Metroid. Yeah, it's, the Nintendo conference is at 1.30pm. Yeah. Well, you can drop into the stream and have a chat. But we'll we'll test our predictions then, guys. I'd like to thank Jish for actually making an appearance on the stream. Now you can put a face with the voice. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for popping in, guys. I appreciate all the support. We'll be back again tomorrow evening with Conker's Bad Fur. <laughs> Conker's Bad Fur. Conker's day. Bad Fur Day. Conker's Bad Fur Play. <laughs> <laughs> the sequel. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Yeah. Until next time. Peace.